For over 30 years, ESCO Tool has worked closely with the power generation and metalworking industries to solve the toughest maintenance and construction problems. And today, ESCO Tool is proud to be considered the world leader in boiler maintenance tools. With a complete line of equipment for panel replacement and welding preparation, ESCO is widely known for unique products that are rugged, reliable, versatile, and easy to operate. Now, let's take a closer look at the ESCO line. Using this demonstration panel, we will show the APS 438 air-powered saw cutting a section out, slicing the membrane from between the tubes, and then prepping them with a high-speed beveler. The first step is to align a weld tab at the cut line and tack weld it in two places, being sure to keep it flat against the panel. In this demonstration, we are welding directly to the tube. Other methods can be used to attach the weld tab to the membrane. With a second weld tab attached to the track, the track is slid onto the first weld tab and the nut is fastened to keep it from slipping off. Next, the track is leveled. and the second weld tab is tacked into position. With both weld tabs securely in place, the nuts holding the track to the tabs are tightened. Next, the saw is slid onto the track. The air is connected. And cutting may begin. Please notice the technique. Proper cutting requires the blade to be moved back and forth while plunging the saw into the tubes. By using this technique, the saw blade develops a cut path that helps ensure a smooth square cut. If the blade were simply plunged in and forced to cut as if a piece of plywood, the blade deviates and is forced either up or down, creating an uneven cut. Moving the blade back and forth also helps the material from being overheated. Overheating the material causes it to flow into the blade and slows the cutting action. When the bottom cut is finished, the air is disconnected the saw is removed, the track is unbolted and removed from the panel. Next, a piece of shim stock is slid into the bottom cut to help prevent slag and other debris from falling down the tubes. When cutting boiler tube panels with clearance problems, we have the APS 438 LP low profile, which requires only 7.5 inches of clearance. For the top cut, the track is attached to the panel using the same method as shown before. The cutting technique is also the same. Moving the saw back and forth while plunging helps assure efficient, clean, square cuts. With a safety stop in the down position, the track is aligned with the cut mark. The track weld tabs are tack welded into position for the first vertical cut. The saw is then slid onto the track and the brake handle is tightened. With the air connected, the cutting can begin. In the vertical position, it becomes difficult to move the saw up and down and therefore it becomes important to pivot the saw off the material, helping to avoid overheating the saw blade. Once the first vertical cut is done, these weld tabs can be removed since they will not be used in this position again. Since the weld tabs can be used any number of times, it is important to remove old weld material so they will lay flat the next time they are used. When the second vertical cut is complete, the panel is removed. And the track is remounted to the lower weld tabs for membrane removal. Once the track has been mounted, the membrane bracket is slid onto the track. As you can see, the membrane track can be rotated to different positions. The membrane removal blade is mounted using a flange made expressly for this blade. It has extra support to help seat the blade properly on the saw. With the blade secured, the saw is mounted to the membrane bracket and the saw brake is tightened. Once the blade is lined up with the membrane to be cut, the membrane bracket locking handle is secured, and membrane removal can begin.
With new blades, if the membrane is particularly hard, it is sometimes necessary to dress the wheel to remove any material buildup, which may slow the cutting action. The membrane bracket can be reversed so the saw can get into the corners or get around other obstacles. The saw can also be mounted directly to the track in order to get into the extremely tight spots. For the upper membrane, the membrane bracket is mounted in the inverted position and used in the same manner. Once the membrane is removed, there are a variety of tools available to end prep the tubes. The first type we are showing is the high speed. Later in the video, we will be showing the Milhog ID clamping end prep tools. Using the track chassis and post assembly in conjunction with high speed tools is an efficient method of beveling small diameter tubes. The HHB 5000 is mounted to the chassis and the pilot is inserted into the tube. With the chip shield in place and the air connected, the tubes are ready to be beveled. High speed tools bevel so fast, a stop is used to help prevent over beveling. Once a stop is set, all tubes will be beveled to the same height, making new tube fit up more efficient. High speed tools are offered in four models. Two models can be track mounted or handheld and two are right angle drive models. All high speed models share interchangeable cutter heads, pilots and cutting bits. High speed tools are ideal for low alloy tubes. Stainless steel and high chrome tubes will sometimes work harder if excess material is removed. As you can see the setup time is minimal and the beveling takes only seconds. Since high speed tools throw hot chips it is mandatory for the operator and others in the area of operation to wear protective clothing, including goggles, face shields, hard hats, gloves, long sleeves, and welding jackets. All ESCO and prep tools have critical width dimension for getting into limited access areas, and all produce mirror finishes on the tube ends without cutting fluid. Track connectors are for applications requiring extended lengths of track. They are easily attached, making it possible to run the track at any length. More typically, however, the track is merely remounted as the cutting progresses. For cutting pendant tubes, chain mount tabs are attached to the tubes. With two chain mount tabs in position, the track is mounted and bolted into place. This is one method used to attach the track to pendant tubes. Another method is with a quick clamp, which is being shown on a boiler tube panel. Cut line indicators that are attached to the track align the saw to the cut mark. And by turning the crank handle, the wedges are tightened against the tube panel, securely holding the track in position. The cutting action is the same as before. Plunging the saw in and out of the work while moving it back and forth is important to maintain an even square cut. This APS is equipped with a reverse throttle handle, which is particularly useful for cutting boiler tube panels when using the quick clamp on this kind of layout. The throttle handle has been rotated 180 degrees, so the operator may more easily reach it. Using the 12 inch saw blade, the maximum depth of cut is 4 and 3 eighths inch. The air requirement is 90 PSI at 80 CFM. All saws come equipped with 3 quarter inch air hose and in order to maintain proper power, smaller hoses should not be used. The single tube cutoff bracket is for use with the APS 438 when cutting single tubes. It attaches using a chain that is wrapped around the pipe and clamped into position with a lever lock. With this bracket, the APS 438 can cut tubes up to 4 inches in diameter with a standard 12 inch blade. Wall thickness and tube material make no difference to the cutting action. Stainless steel and tubes with high chrome content all cut easily. 
Pipe up to 60 inches in diameter with wall thicknesses of up to 4 inches can be squarely cut using the ESCO wrap track. In this demonstration, a wrap track is attached to the OD of the pipe and clamped into place. Next, the pipe trolley is attached to the wrap track and secured. With all the nuts snugged, the trolley rotates around the wrap track and is ready for the saw to be mounted. Once the saw is slid onto the trolley, the saw's locking brake handle is tightened, holding the saw securely to the trolley. The cutting action is the same as before. Plunging the blade while moving it back and forth is a key to obtaining a clean, square cut. For low radial clearance applications, we offer the APS 438 LRC, which requires less than 6 inches clearance. The saw features a trolley built into the chassis, an 8-inch blade guard, and the same powerful 3-horsepower motor found in all the APS saws. The LRC is specifically built for use on the ESCO wrap track system. The flex track is for bent boiler tube water wall and fume hoods in steel mills. Other applications include diameters of over 60 inches, including large tanks. Mounting is simple. The cut line indicator is aligned with the cut mark and the track is bent to the radius of the material to be cut. The track is then tack welded into position, leveled, and then welded in several more spots along the length of the track. Once the track is welded in place, all the nuts are tightened and the saw mounted. Notice the cutting action is the same as the other applications. Back and forth while plunging the saw in and out delivers a clean, even cut. The ground mill hog covers an ID range of one half inch ID to two and one quarter inch OD and has a minimum radial clearance of one and a half inches. It easily clamps the ID using an expanding ID clamp which is actuated by the ratchet wrench. Note all wrenches are fixed to the tool so they don't get lost. With air connected the beveling can begin. All Millhog bits are titanium coated for long life, plus they are secured to the cutter head using the ESCO lock blade locking system. This system holds the blade so rigidly that no cutting lubricant is necessary. The ground is also ideal for small diameter boiler tubes in limited access areas, or hard to access corner tubes. A unique push-pull draw rod makes disengaging the tool from the tube ID as easy as clamping it. These tubes were beveled at 37 and a half degrees. Other angles are available. The ground mill hog has several size cutter heads and mandrels available that are easily interchanged. The tube weasel has a standard range of one and one quarter inch ID to three inch OD and comes complete with everything needed to work in this range. A three quarter inch mandrel is optional. The weasel has a minimal radial clearance of 3 inches and is ideal for restricted areas where clearance can be an issue. The weasel uses the same cutting bits as a ground mill hog and like all mill hogs is able to machine all boiler tube alloys without cutting fluid. Like the ground, all wrenches needed for operation are attached so they don't get lost. The wart mill hog is the workhorse of the mill hog line. This machine features a one and one quarter horsepower motor, built-in oiler, and a dual opposed tapered roller bearing gear drive. The wart has a standard operating range of one and one quarter inch ID to four and one half inch OD. One inch and three quarter inch mandrel kits are available. Set up with three blades, the wart can bevel face and bore a tube in one operation. 
Changing the tooling for limited access areas is accomplished with simple hand tools and takes a minimum amount of time. The wart facilitates the ESCO lock blade locking system and uses heavy duty beveling bits that are common to the Mini, Prepzilla, and Boss Millhogs. The majority of work this tool sees is for new boiler tube panel fabrication and end prepping old panels. However, with a 2 and 5 8 inch cutter head, the wart is ideal for limited access applications. The Mini Millhog has a standard operating range of 1 8 inch ID to 6 and 5 8 inch OD. An optional 1 and 1 quarter inch mandrel kit is also available. The Mini features a 1 and 1 quarter horsepower air motor with a built-in oiler. And weighing only 25 pounds, it is the lightest tool of its type. Using a single blade, the Mini can end prep heavy wall tube or pipe. Again, no cutting lubricant is required. For clad tubes, we offer a stepped bevel blade that easily peels back the cladding. Peelback blades can be ordered for use on any of the Millhog end prep tools. Prepzilla is a beast of a machine with a range of 1 and 5 6 inch ID to 8 and 5 8 inch OD. It is capable of beveling all types of tube and works exceptionally well on all the toughest refinery pipes. This tool features an efficient, quiet 2 horsepower motor and offers an exceptional cross feed for flange facing or severing torch pipe ends to avoid the heat effect zone prior to end prepping. The Boss Millhog uses one mandrel to cover a range of 3.5 inch ID to 12 and 3 quarter inch OD. It features a powerful 3 horsepower air motor that develops 2300 foot pounds of torque at the cutting bit. With its rigid clamping system, the Boss is able to produce a thick, clean, chatter free end prep on a wide range of material without cutting oil. And like all mill hogs, this rugged low maintenance machine requires no special operator training to achieve precision end preps.